Hi guys, so today I want to try out um, a punch that I had recently picked up, one that I was gifted, and then oh possibly tied right out of there, and possibly revisit this punch bunch one. I said something that sounded like one, but also with the ch sound on there. <laughs> anyway, um, so if these are available, I'll link them in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase them. Those links, you know, I really do love this kind of punch because it does the scalloping or whatever you know it is, and then the this one happens to have like that little like kind of like garment hanger. What do they call it here? You call it Euro hook hole punch on this. We are memory keepers once. So this was gifted. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, so I definitely want to try it out. So this one, of course, you're going to do whatever you want, and then you punch that shape into there. And I don't have any of these new Crocodile Power Punches. Um, I have, like, the corner chompers and the corner rounders, and they're a little different. And now I think they all come out like this, or you can at least get those shapes in this kind of thing. Um, but even the other ones, like these guys, say they can punch, like, chipboard up to a certain amount and those kinds of things, right? So this one's saying it cuts through fabric, chipboard, leather, thin tin, and plastic. And I'm assuming this fabric would have to be a very kind of stiff fabric or maybe starched fabric or like a covered. I don't know because uh, fabric is pretty <laughs> floppy, right? I think it'd be kind of hard to punch it and not have it like just act kind of funny. But either way, um, really interesting down here. They're showing you this shape on the punch there. They're saying you can make like a little chore board or something so you can use it for hanging spots or just for decoration of course. Um, and then this guy again I wasn't super thrilled with um, making a larger tag. It didn't look as pretty so I did keep some of the tags that I preferred which were these uh, like smaller ones. I mean this one's pretty big but I do like this shape. Now if you look at it you can also do it this way right and then maybe put the hole here and that's kind of what they're showing here. Well actually this one they are showing it this way. See it's rounded. You can do it the opposite way. This one is what I'm curious about. See how you can make it pointy instead of just the point. I don't know how to explain it. Here. It's like this, right? And they're saying punch it on this opposite side to make it look like this, like the scallop. But you're going to have to be pretty dead on for that to match up and not drive you nuts. So we'll probably try that today just because um, I wanted to revisit that. Um, and then this guy punches all at once. And then it has three sizes, just like, you know, the We Are Memory Keepers punches or the punches you might see. Carver's Companion has the same thing. Hunky Dory has the same thing. I have a feeling a lot of these that look like this were probably created in the same uh, Chinese factory and then they just put different names on them. So... Um, I mean, that's just what it seems like. They're very similar. The Wear Memory Keeper's style is different uh, as far as the look of it, but the other punches look like this. They all look the same. They just have a different name on them. But that's just my hunch. I don't know. So, let's try this guy first. And this I did get on Amazon. It did come with a free gift, which is really sweet. And it is a really cute little uh, mix of sequins. How cute is that? Token of love. We appreciate your support. That's cute. Okay. Um, so we need a piece that's one and a half inches wide, two inches wide, and two and a half. You can do wider. It's just not going to look right. It's going to be weird. Um, or skinnier. You just have to line it up. And usually I look at the back and make sure that it still looks okay. And then I punch it. But again, that might, that might look odd too. Especially because this is really kind of wide. You're pretty much maxed out, I think. Um, maybe at one and a quarter inch if you want to make it a little bit smaller. So I have all these little pieces. I have been cleaning up guys. My videos have probably been kind of quick this weekend because um, I just brought a bunch of tubs and I'm like trying to clean up in my craft room. So I'm like these are punches. These are just things. These are swap things. These are I'm trying to sort things out so then I can clear everything up and then put things back if I need to come back in here you know. Um, so it's a crazy time right now. But like this is one and a quarter which is kind of funny. We were just talking about that. Um, inches wide and like yeah I mean it would be right there that would probably not even worth punching I mean I don't mind punching this because it's a scrap of paper anyway so let's just punch it it is right there I mean I don't know if you would want that and then it rounds way up here so then you would cut your tag like down here or something right so maybe but let's do what it said so I'm gonna cut one and a half two inch and two and a half pieces that are that wide and then we'll talk about um the length, you know, it's whatever it is that you think it looks right. So I'll be right back. Cut these to what? Maybe I'm just, you know, kind of boiling how much this takes off. So this is about three inches. So it's one and a half by three. And this is the other thing. You're supposed to push this all the way back. If I push this all the way back, look how much it's going to cut off, right? But that's how you know you're straight, right? I mean, you're hitting that back piece. Um, and I'm turning over so you can see that. But that would cut a ton off. I mean, that's like 
at least half an inch in the back there. So what I'm going to do is bring it up here, make sure I'm in the guidelines, and this is one and a half inches supposedly, and it's kind of not really fitting in the groove, so obviously I cut it a little bit off. And I'm going to bring it up as high as I can without cutting off everything. <laughs> so like I said, I'm doing a one and a half by three on this. It's easy enough to punch. And there it is, just makes a little, you know, kind of rounded top. I was gonna say scallop, but it's really just rounded at this point. With the little guy, and again, since I didn't bud it up and this was a little bit wider than one and a half, you can see it started getting the next thing. So if I can take this to my guillotine, I just trim that little bit off. This one is two inches by, I think, three and a quarter. So two inches. That fits in there nicer. I cut that a little better. It's right in those grooves. And again, when I turn it over, if I push it all the way back, I mean, it's just going to cut off so much. So let me just make sure we're in the groove still. And I'm bringing, I'm kind of holding it here. And there is the next punch. That is very cute. I don't know about this one quite, but this is really cute. I like the little scallop. I like the look of that one. Um, again, two inches by three and a quarter. And then the two and a half inch one, I believe, is almost four inches. It's like three and three quarters. This was a scrap piece of paper. I just went with it. So two and a half by three and three quarters. And again, we're going to slide it into those grooves. Two and a half. And again, you can push it all the way back, but you're just removing all of that paper. I don't know why they gave it so much clearance. That's kind of weird, right? They could have brought it like here when they manufactured it. So I'm just going to bring it back up a little bit, making sure it's pretty snug. All right, I am in love with this for these larger ones. That is so cute. Sorry, I was just clearing my throat there. That is cute. I mean, they're all cute, but I do like the wider ones. And then again, that little tiny one, you know, something to think of about. Not quite there. Okay, um, let's go to this one really quickly because I want to see about making it this wide. Now, they don't give instructions, and I already threw away the packaging. Um, it's from Punch Bunch, and maybe they have videos. I'm going to measure this, and I don't even know if this is literally the same. I think it is, because I think if we match this up, it's pretty much the same punch, right? But it, where Sorry, was yeah, I think it's basically the same. Yeah, so that gives you a good idea. And uh, if I measure this here, that is one and th uh, three eighths wide. I'll be right back. A little scrap of this. this is very thin. One and three eighths inches wide, and it's like two and a half inches long. And whenever we got this shape, if we put it in here, this is how it was going, but we want the point part of it. So I'm gonna punch from this side. Okay, I know that seems weird. Okay, I'm gonna punch, let's see I'm holding it like this. I'm gonna punch in this direction. So I'm gonna put my paper in on this other side. And it goes right there. And again, if we measure right, we should be able to flip this and put it back in the same direction again. Oh my goodness, that is very cute. Now that is very specific to your paper being one and three eighth inches wide. Otherwise it's just gonna get wider and wider here and it looks different. So I think this is literally the only measurement you can do where you get that actual point. That'd be really cute if you do it on the other side and you have a cute label, right? Um, or you can put the little uh, hole in it again. So this time I am gonna bring it over here and again, you know, it has these little ridges but they don't tell you the sizing of those and they're not even the size of this. If I put this in here, it's one three eighths, it's, it's teetering on either side so that's kind of silly. Um, so again, we're gonna have to eyeball where we're placing it and know where the center is pretty much and hopefully that is correct. I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it. Oh, it's already moving on me because of course I'm up in the air free you guys to see it but that's not bad that takes some practice guys <laughs> remember the last time I was off I mean I'm off a little bit but if you put a tag there a fiber no one's gonna notice that pretty cute that's okay again you really got to remember what's going on so I suppose we can do one that looks like this again I had said in that last video I need more practice again one and three eighths inch so um, let me cut another one because all I did was cut a little piece of that paper and I'll be right back. Okay, I might be off a little bit on this one. So again, we had this one. I'm um, just kind of eyeballing where I need to go this time. Maybe I do need to go on this left side. Oh no, they're doing the rounded edge, huh? So, okay, let's go on this side. I'm coming in from the right against this guide over here. Okay, I don't think it's gonna really, and then turn it and then go again. Yeah, not too bad. This one looks a little less um, punch than this side. What's up with that? Mm, should I try it again? Was that the right? Okay. It's a little deeper. I think I was probably my paper was just moved a little bit. 
and then we were to bring it over here on this side and look at that it's almost the right thing again we're gonna have to eyeball this I'm pushing it all the way to the back where I you know where it stops basically and I'm eyeballing left and right and hopefully I'm okay there nope way off you know what I've always been off on this one there's something something's up even the last time I punched this one it was like because mm. <laughs> honestly it should be a, a little bit over but it was a lot so okay well maybe that one's not the greatest so again a little a little finicky this came out really well I'll have to remember one and three eighths inch the reason I did larger pieces and people were you know asking about different questions in that video is because it's called any size and that's the whole thing you can use anything right and you can because it doesn't stop you on left or right um, but <laughs> it doesn't look that great if you're going too large right some of them were like really weird looking so there's that um, okay let's use this one to make some corner roundings I guess and then we'll use this guy to make our little punch in the center so I'm just gonna cut down a tag real quick and just corner around it with this thing and then so I'll bear it back. This guy again with this one it's odd you go in whatever direction you choose I punched it turned it go in that same direction punch it okay so this is what we have this is like two inches by three and a quarter I mean these are all scraps and um, Let's take this guy and just give it a punch. I have no doubt that this is going to punch really awesome. But you are going to have to line it up yourself, right? So, let's check this out. Ooh, it is a heavy tool. Um, it has a lock and unlock, so let's unlock that. Ooh, oh, that is so cute. It looks like one of those awesome, like, staplers. I don't know, like an industrial stapler. I like that. That is adorable. <laughs> Never issues for myself with the We Are Memory Keeper punches, so I'm sure this is going to be great. So I'm just going to bring this over and then line it up. Now, again, you have your guide like you always do, and you can, this is kind of cool because you can just kind of mess with it up and down, and it doesn't go back super easy. I have to give it some pressure for it to go back. So when you put your paper, you're not like pushing it and then, oh, it moved. Um, the old ones have like a whole like screw system. <laughs> Let me show you. Ah. I'm trying to get organized guys again um, this one so you unscrew it you move it to where you want this guide right here sorry I'm gonna, this thing which is nice because it is metal so obviously there's a different construction over here but uh, and if you're punching a whole bunch of things it's safe and secure in there you know this guy I think we're just it's an individual basis here <laughs> um, now let me see how far in see that would be kind of far and again I'm just gonna bring it up to the very top because what I'm looking at is in there as I can kind of see I don't know if you can see down there where you know what maybe we should do a practice piece so let's bring this over here right so I think that's good amount from the top oh and then it collects things down in here guys and you just dump it out Ooh, that's nice. Sturdy. Okay, that was a little bit scary because I felt like I punched that crooked. Now I don't know if that was me or <laughs> the punch. And again, it has a little line here so you can kind of eyeball what center is. I'm kind of looking down at the bottom where it's scalloping and then that will help me, I think, better know if we're in the center or not. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. And then that opening is a good size. So let's talk about that. Uh, it's a one and a quarter inch opening there and it's about less than a half inch deep these guys are a little smaller and they are like one and an eighth inch opening and about a quarter inch a little over a quarter inch deep at the high point and then this little guy is just tiny um, three-eighths of an inch by an eighth and then obviously a little dot there so that is really cool I mean I can punch something thicker just so you guys I mean see the power of this but you guys know I mean uh, I was going to say, should I punch the material that it came, not that one, uh, this one, if I can get in here, let's just pop it in there and give it a squeeze, and it's like butter, you guys, I mean, and this is some pretty thick uh, chipboard, right, and then we can empty it out down here, it's so funny how warped and ugly it looks, the piece that comes out, I don't know if you can see, look at, see, even this one came out like that, but it doesn't damage the paper, the paper looks great, so that's really interesting. Right. Thank you so much, Karen. This is awesome. I'm going to put it here with the rest of my punches so we can close that up, do this, lock it, and it's ready to be put away. And I always keep mine, I have like a little metal basket next to me that's inside of a uh, Michael's cart. And um, the basket has like handles, so I just stick these on the handle like that. And so that's why whenever I reach over, 
most of the time I can grab them pretty easily <laughs> and work with them. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. I mean, it was just something kind of fun here. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to use this little stamp again, but uh, I don't know if I should do it now. I was just going to stamp his little face like in the corner here or something. I think that would be cute. So I might do that. And um, yeah, so you're good to go. I love the carrier thing on this because that will be really cute for all the swaps and things that we do. Um, fingers crossed. Continuing, hopefully. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, I'll have the links in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.